All right, so I'm just gonna go grab this quick demonstration showing that I've went out, created a service account on GCP, I've granted, um, or I've taken that, that service account's private key, granted it, um, or I gave my AWS Lambda the ability to, to access that private key and then request services over on GCP, um, again, leveraging that service account. So what's nice about service accounts is really um, with, within code is it gives you the ability to assume and impersonate users. So Elser Enter Elser's Musings organization over on G Suite, again, has, it, have a has a service account. If we jump over, we can go and look at that service account over here. Or where is it? Here it is. If we come over to here, uh, I am service accounts. So we can see uh, we have that service account created here. We've already pulled down the key, uh, uploaded it in a secure place, and we are accessing that key via environment variable and feeding it into our into our Lambda function. If we go over to um, calendars here, we can see uh, B Elser at Elser, Elser's Musings has uh, has no calendar updates in the pipe, at least for the, the rest of Saturday. So let's go to the code. Let's invoke this Lambda function, and we should see no, no events populated. Okay, so we see no, event, no upcoming events found. Let's jump back over to the calendar, and let's, let's just add um, awesome event. Go back to the code, invoke the Lambda function again. And now we can see our awesome event has been updated. So that's pretty much it. Um, again, really just the, the identifying the leveraging those service accounts was 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 key um, because it, again, it doesn't really scale scale well, and there's just there's issues with uh, using personal API keys, and again, it just doesn't scale at all. So um, that's it.